Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Butterman, and this is the CDOX tip of the day. I'd like to talk about an issue that sometimes occurs when milling zirconia. Uh, and this can be particularly a problem with katana because it's just a harder restoration. And what we sometimes find is that during the milling process, the restoration will actually fracture away from the block. Now, what we found to be a potential issue for this is if the sprue is placed on a line angle, so right at the junction of the buckle surface and the occlusal surface, that can create too much shear force and the restoration could potentially break off. Now, moving the sprue alone isn't enough to generally fix that. There's a couple things that we want to check, and we want to check this early on before we go to the design phase. Number one is make sure that we've got our set model access. This is an automatic step, but we still want to ensure that that is done properly. And then our insertion access, and here's where the problem happens. Even though this is an automatic step, sometimes that insertion access can be off, and we want to make sure that we're looking straight up and down. We want to see how the crown is going to seat on the restoration. So by straightening that back up, you'll notice we are going to get a brand new proposal, so it's important to check this step before the design phase. Um, but if we now take this design and we go to the manufacture phase, we're going to see that that issue with the sprue position being at an angle has been fixed. Now our restoration is being manufactured straight from an occlusal aspect, and it's going to fit in the direction that we seated with our set model axis. We're no longer going to have the sprue positioned at a line angle, and generally we're going to have more success milling this restoration. So I hope this information was helpful, and if you would like to see more, please visit us at cdocs.com. Thank you.